It sure is great to see you today. Welcome to Calvary Temple Church. You are Calvary Temple Church, the people of God. And we are just so glad to be able to, to gather together in the name of the Lord today. As we do, can we pray together? Let's pray. Jesus, come now and move in great minds. Correct us, O oh God. Inspire us, O oh God. Change us, Lord. Fill us with your truth. With your grace, with your love, oh God. We come today, Lord. Some of us come and we're excited. Some of us are in great victory today, Lord. And Lord, there's some of us that come today and we're weary, Lord. We feel battered, Lord. We feel that we're having challenge. And now we just press into you. We choose to respond to you today. We choose to press into you. Do great things in us and through us now, Lord, for your glory. Do what you want, God, in this time. This is quality time. Blocked out for you, Lord. Corporately, what do you want to do in us and through us? Be magnified, O oh God. Be magnified, O oh God. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Lord Jesus. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Will you stand this morning? I don't know about you, but I know for me, he's brought me out. My heart was distressed. He chose red brown and woke in the pit where I was dragging down. I cried to the Lord from the deep party play. Who tenderly brought me out to golden day? Who he brought me out of the party play? He set my feet on the rock to stay. Oh! 
You free every captive and break every chain. Oh God, you have done great things and continue to do them. Pastor Jeff. You can grab a seat if you want, or you can stand all day, whatever works for you. This morning we're going to move into our 5.11 sharing time. And uh, uh, we just review with you. 5.11 is based on 1 Thessalonians 5. Eleven. Yeah, thanks. I thought you were saying, no, you're wrong. Uh, it says in 1 Thessalonians 5.11, So encourage each other and build each other up just as you are already doing. So this time now is our mutual time of corporate encouragement, that we would encourage one another. And there's four ways that you can participate. First off, if you're a regular attender, you have a, a word of encouragement for our church, a word from God, a word of encouragement, now's the time to share that. Or secondly, if you have a quick shout out of appreciation for someone in our church, you just want to thank God for Fred, because Fred did X, Y, and Z, um, you can do that. Or thirdly, if you're a, a regular attender or a guest, and you have something you just want to thank Jesus for, you say, Jesus, I want to thank you for whatever, that's great, you can do that. Or fourthly, if you have a prayer request that you would like to share and would like us to pray for. And so now's your chance. Pastor Laura's going to come with the microphone so we can hear you. If you have something you'd like to share, again, it is brief. I see a hand at the back in the center there. If you have uh, something you want to share, just raise your hand and we'll get to you. It does need to be brief. I will cut you off. It'll be just like at the Oscars where the music starts playing and then they turn your mic down and then eventually the cane will come and just like, totally grab you off the signal. It won't be that bad. John, go ahead. I just want to thank my church and my church family and the Lord for what he's doing in my sister's life yeah. and how he's still, she's still holding on. Yeah. I want to thank you for all your prayers and all your great compliments and everything. Let's keep praying because she's still not a little voice, but Jesus is too great. I might be worried. Amen. Thank you, Don. Yes, we will certainly pray for uh, Beverly in a few moments when we go to prayer. Will? Yeah, I just want to give uh, thanks to the Lord for being my girl, Majara, over the last couple of years or so. Uh, this past, a couple of weeks ago, I went into a drug interview. And with the front of, after, after the front of the interview, I got to go to a well-known restaurant in the upcoming area with a good salary and everything, thanks to that. I've been uh, praying to the Lord for a dog as close to the and I've been trying to get to this restaurant for the last four or five years. And I wonder what the Lord said to me when I goes, my son, do not worry. I already have something lined up for you, so do not worry. And I strongly believe that this is that where I'm at right now, where he wants me. Excellent. Thank you. Will appreciate you sharing that. That is that is great. And uh, Pastor Laura's going to make her way to the next person that she saw that had their hand up. We're trying to carefully disinfect the microphones so we're not spreading anything at all to anyone. So bear with us. Please, if you put your hand up, make sure you put it up again if you didn't get service yet. And so Joe is going to share now. Joe, go ahead.
one month, it was crazy. I've been dealing with a lot of health issues. Um, didn't realize how bad they were until the last doctor explained stuff to me. So um, I, I thank God for all those openings that I was able to witness to some people a little bit. I, I thank God for that. I thank God for people that helped me to get to appointments and stuff. Um, my prayer request is I just I just need some help for prayer that I don't get frustrated, upset. God, or not just God, just, you know, because I do know to make a surgery coming up, it's a bit overwhelming, but I've been doing good, because I know God loves me, and um, that's, I think that's about it, it's a prayer, shout out, you know, Lord. hey, I got the cane, so you can't get me down, Jason wants the full meal deal, he wanted to do all four things on the screen, so, good stuff, Jason, thank you, appreciate that, we will pray for you. As you're facing these these health challenges that you're having as well, Jean. I want to say thank you to uh, God for um, I could be you know um, in my grave right now. Um, I've got a lot of things wrong with my organs, a lot of my organs. Um, but he, and the doctor hasn't been able to do much of anything for me right at this point because of COVID and the delays at the hospital and stuff like that and at the doctor's office. And so I'm just thank, so thankful to be able to be here and thank you for all your prayers and um, like I'm um, not completely out of the woods yet. I mean, there's probably a long ways to go with these health issues, but. I am very thankful that I'm, I'm still going strong um, and I'm not even feeling sick, not even hardly at all. Good. Um, a little bit sometimes, but nothing really to speak of. Great. Thank you. That's excellent. Thank you, Jean. Appreciate you sharing that. Thank you. Macy wants to pray for her grandmother. She's not feeling good today. Okay. We will pray for sure. Thank you, Macy. Okay, was there anyone else that wanted to share? We have a hand over here, another one here, another one there. All right, we will get to you. The sound bird is blocking our view there. So thank you. We will get to you to share. And then we'll pray together as well before we continue to worship the Lord through song. I just want to give a quick shout out to Pat and Cindy McGuire. I think that they deserve that. Uh, they've been a very faithful members of Calvary Temple for so many years. They work hard. And even though we don't sometimes appreciate that, may the Lord bless them. Amen. And thank you so much, Sharon. May I say amen to that. Dan, I just want to say uh, Tuesday is a uh, day. Together. So can we pray together? Yes. 
Oh, right. Just before we pray, I forgot. Pastor Laura keeps me organized. We wanted to just give you a, a quick update on Beverly Corey. Beverly Corey is uh, in hospital, still in hospital, and, uh, and, and does have COVID, has COVID pneumonia, and has really been uh, been struggling a bit. Uh, and so we do certainly earnestly pray for this urgent need. Um, things are, are stable, so we thank the Lord for that. There hasn't been uh, incredible improvement, but it hasn't increasingly gotten worse either. So we thank the Lord uh, for those things. Anything else that we should say? Keep, keep praying, please. I uh, spent some time with the family last night and just really continue to pray uh, that God will intervene. And uh, we're just going to go in prayer now for that. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we worship you. We praise you. We thank you, God, that you are the giver of life. I thank you, Lord, that our hope is found in you. That, God, you are our shield. You, Lord, are the one that gets us through, Lord. You promised in your word that you personally go before us. So, God, we, we claim that promise today. And even as we walk through these difficulties and challenges, Lord, even as we look on the world stage of the various factors that we see, Lord, our hope and our trust is in you. You're the deliverer. You're the rescuer, God. You're the savior, Jesus. We pray today, Lord, for these things that have been mentioned. We pray for other things on our hearts, Lord. We give you now our burdens, God, because we, we weren't designed to handle them. We give you those things. God, I pray today for Ukraine. Lord, I pray today for Russia. Jesus, I pray together today with my friends for Beverly Corey, Lord. Minister in her body, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, may those cells respond to your miraculous intervention. Your will be done, O oh God. We pray today for Jill's boyfriend, Lord. Minister, you know the situation. Minister, Lord. I pray for Jason Conlon today. God, touch his body, Lord. Guide the doctors as they continue to assess and make plans for his, his future care and health, Lord. We pray today for the Shirley Jones family as they lost her this week and are grieving, Lord, and we will gather this week for a, a funeral celebration. We ask, Lord, that you administer. Thank you for Shirley's faith in you. Thank you for the example that we're left with, God. May we live as she did in reliance on you. I pray today, Lord, for Carol Wilson. We pray that you administer to her, Lord. Encourage her today. Surround her hospital bed right now with your presence, Lord. We pray today for Donna Russell. We ask God that you would strengthen her, that you would show yourself to her in a powerful way today. May your word resound and echo in her heart, Lord, your promises, your truth. We pray for Heather Moserall today, Lord. Minister to Heather, Lord. Bless her today, Lord. Thank you for her life and her focus on you, Lord. I pray for Belva Hooper today, Lord. Strengthen and encourage her and Charles today, Lord. I pray for Macy's grandmother, God, who's sick. We ask Jesus that you would heal her in the name of Jesus, that Macy's grandmother would have strength and would feel better today, Lord. Show yourself to her, Jesus. For all of our needs, for all of our lives, God, we call out to you. We trust in you. We say, Lord, have your unhindered, sovereign, amazing way. Work for your glory, God. We love you, Jesus. Where would we be without you, Lord Jesus? Where would we be without you, Lord Jesus? We praise you, awesome God. The sovereign God. O oh, Majesty, the saints adore, the angels sing, and fall before the throne of praise. To you belongs the highest praise. He suffered peace, is past in time. Under your wings, I will abide, and every enemy shall flee. You are my hope and victory. Praise the Father, praise the Son, praise the Spirit, praise the Lord. 
I know the pastor is planning on having an altar call later, but I just feel, pastor, the waters are stirred now. And when the waters are stirred and the Spirit is moving, we need to respond. And I feel that God is here to touch you. Jason, I want you to come. God's going to touch you this morning. And others this morning that need a healing touch. In faith, I want you to leave where you're seated and stand. Just come across these altars this morning. And as you come, no one has to touch you. The Spirit is already here. But you need to move forward as a move of faith, as a recognition that you're believing God to heal you, to minister you, to deliver you from whatever it has you been gone into this morning. You need to come to the altar this morning and find healing. You need to come to the altar and experience the power of the Spirit of God coming and flowing in your body. I just feel God is in this place and God is moving and you need to come and respond to the call of the Spirit this morning. Amen. 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 Let's move forward. Hallelujah. This is, this is the God moment this morning. This is the Holy Ghost moment. Hallelujah. Just raise your hands towards heaven, people. Just begin to receive the presence and the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit this morning. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Give it all to Jesus this morning. Surrender it all to Jesus. That which you have been keeping and holding on to, let go and give it to God. Let go and give it to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
other things, other people, other things, events, nostalgia. Forgive us, O oh God, for trusting in gimmicks. Forgive us, O oh God. Forgive us, O oh God, for going through the motions. For showing up for Sunday church and just expecting last week's blessing. Forgive us, Lord, for making you a stranger in our lives that when we come to Sunday celebration, we're far from you because we really haven't sought you through the week. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. You have given us a mission, Lord. You've given us a purpose. You've given us a job to do. You've given us a calling not to be any other church, not to be any other people, but God, to be your people, your people for this place, for this time, God. You've raised us up. You've given us, Lord, provision. You've given us sustenance to this point for your glory, for your honor, Lord, for your pleasure. Help us to seek you and find that, Lord, and know that, and be who you called us to be individually in our own lives, in our own homes, in our own families, in our own neighborhoods, and in this church corporate body, Lord, as an assembly of the called out ones. May we know who you called us to be. Forgive us, Lord. Joy of thy salvation and renew 